Okay, did not know that. Life jacket and a whistle. All right, I live like just right around the corner here. Enjoy my drink. <coughs> there is like a shrimp tentacle or leg in there. I feel like if law enforcement catches me this time, they're definitely gonna write me a ticket. Look at all those beautiful colors on him. Oh, Jesus. All right, you know what? Oh, oh no, no. <sighs> it is 7.22 p.m. So we only got less than an hour of daylight and we're gonna see if we can catch ourselves a fish from a paddleboard right here from shore. We are in the John Penny Camp State Park in Key Largo and we're gonna be using artificials only. What do you guys think? Can I catch a fish in an hour, less than an hour? I don't know, but I got a couple upgrades. I got my GoPro clipped to my Yeti bucket. Also, if you guys remember a couple videos ago, I was paddle boarding and I lost my cell phone after a big wave came from a boat, knocked me right off this paddle board, lost my headset, lost my sunglasses, lost my hat, lost my iPhone. But this time I got pants with ready for this zippers baby so my phone is nice and safe actually now it's safe i had my zipper undone not that zipper this right here is the pc fun 2000 where you can get 18 percent off with the code sffc18 at pcfun.com i'm going to link that in the video description but pc fun is a big sponsor and so far i've had zero issues with them very high quality and very good price and with my 18 percent off it's pretty much an unbeatable price 10 pound monofilament line and then we have about maybe like three feet of 15 pound fluorocarbon leader going to a quarter ounce jig head i don't even know what brand this is i literally just found it laying on the floor while i was getting ready but uh that's what it looks like i'm guessing any jig head would probably work for this and then we're going to put on a gulp shrimp i've been using this like a uh, field box like ammo box to put my rigs in it's actually very convenient i really like it and you know it's like an ammo box so it just makes me feel good and here are our juicy gulp shrimp this thing was 20 dollars, so they're definitely not cheap ever since covid things have been a little crazy around here I'll grab one of these juicy little shrimp we're gonna want it to sit like that let's see we're gonna want the hook to come out right there you know i'll be honest i probably could could get away without using a jig head and just using a straight up hook with these that looks a little goofy okay hold on. i'm gonna try to okay that's a little bit better okay i mean it looks okay can we get a fish to bite this we're gonna find out in case you're wondering what's in my tackle box extra gopro batteries some extra 15 pound fluorocarbon line. This is the one I'm using for a liter. A couple of extra jigs that I found. Measuring tape. I also have one of these little jigs, which the snapper love these things. If they don't want the gulp, I might try this out. Although I probably won't have time. And I also have a fillet knife. And of course, we got our Yeti water bottle. Gotta stay hydrated out there. I think the next thing that I'm gonna set up is a rod holder on the Yeti bucket. Maybe I'll just drill like a PVC pipe right into the Yeti bucket because having the fishing pole on the floor of my kayak like that, if a boat comes by and puts out a big wave, my rod is gonna go underwater. It's not exactly ideal. Maybe I'll put it like that for now. That is definitely gonna fall off. So we are in the John Pennycamp State Park right now. You can launch your kayak there. You can park there. I think it's like 15 or 20 bucks to get into the park. Welcome to Key Largo, baby. I'm gonna take the paddle and I put it in between my legs and I just lay it down. That way it can't fall off while I'm fishing and I'll grab my rod here. First cast. Wanna make sure your drag is not too loose or too tight. You just kinda want it. So if a fish pulls it, it can pull line out without snapping your line. Oh. I think that was just a bite right there. Oh! That was a bite. It came back for it too. The technique I'm using with these shrimp is I basically cast it out, I let it sink to the bottom, and then I just let it lay on the bottom for like 
four or five seconds, give it a little pop, a couple reels, let it sink and sit on the bottom again. Cause sometimes the snapper, they'll see it and they'll see it sink to the bottom and then they'll just stare at it for like three or four seconds before they slurp it up. So you kind of want to give it some time sometimes. You don't want to just like quick, oh, I thought that was a bite, but I think it was just uh, the grass. So if you can see, we got a like, oh. <laughs> lost my balance there. But we got like a grassy kind of bottom with some sand over there. Very beautiful out here. Crystal clear water. Oh, I see a snapper. There's a snapper right there. There are snappers looking at it, but they're all very small. So because, oh, ah, there's, okay, there's a snapper right there in front of us. He doesn't seem interested and he was kind of small. So what we're gonna do, because we don't have that much time to waste because the sun is, oh my God, it's 740 already. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna paddle board around until I see some like big snappers. Cause you'll see like a pod of big snappers. They usually swim in like groups of six and they'll be like somewhere. And those are the good ones to cast on instead of just floating around blind casting. Normally blind casting is the way to go. Cover a lot of ground, do a lot of casts. But because it's so late in the day and I, I don't have much time left, I'm gonna paddle until I find something. I just saw a little school of pilchards swimming by. Little bait fish. That's usually a very good sign that there's going to be some snapper in the area. But I don't see any yet. <laughs> that went right into the mangroves. There's a couple of small snapper. Like right here, but they're all very small. They're like eight inches. They look like they're more scared of the lure than anything. It is now 7.53, clock is ticking. Will Heiko catch a fish? If I catch a fish, y'all better hit that like button. I hit the tree again. Oh. Holy smokes, I just saw my life flash before my eyes. You see that jig shoot right past my face? Mm. That was a good cast, right at the roots. Nope, and that is why if you leave your rod on the deck, it can easily go underwater because them boats throw pretty, pretty decent wakes. What a beautiful sunset we got going on right now. Oh, wow. Come on, shrimp. I'm gonna give it a kiss for good luck. Mmm. Delicious. I think I just got a bite. No, I, I can't tell. How you doing? Hey, no, not yet. You gotta get a life jacket on that thing and a whistle, man. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, did not know that. Life jacket and a whistle. All right, I live like just right around the corner here. Yeah, and a light if you're gonna be out at night too. Oh yeah, damn. You got any fish in that bucket? Nope, just my tackle box, my, my water. Open real quick? Yep. All right. Yeah, I'll have it next time. I got one of those nice, like, inflatable ones that are, like, kind of the one you're wearing. I should have wore that one. You know, I'll be honest, I did not know that you needed lights and a life jacket and a whistle on a paddleboard. I really did not know that was a thing. It seems really stupid to me, but I guess the rules are the rules. All right, attempt number two. And this time, I'm gonna change things up a little bit. Instead of using a weighted hook, we're gonna use just a normal J hook without any weight to it. Same rod, the PC 2000 reel. And then we're gonna be using these gulp shrimp once again. I think without the weighted hooks, the shrimp are gonna sink a little slower and look a little more natural. And maybe that'll fire up the fish. So we're gonna want the hook to just sit 
right like that. So we'll go right in there. Look at that. I'd say that looks pretty good right there. All right, so we got our gulp shrimps. Put that in the bucket. A pair of pliers in the bucket. A knife in the bucket. One extra hook in the bucket. Keeping it real simple today. And I did look up the rules. And I guess when you paddleboard, you are supposed to have a life jacket. And I guess you need lights at night. Like, I can see the light thing, but life jacket? I'm not gonna bring a life jacket because I'm a rebel. Oh, those guys are a rebel too. <laughs> that right there in front of us is a no wake zone and those guys are definitely waking in the no wake zone. See, everybody out here is breaking the rules. Like, where am I gonna put a life jacket on this thing? Nowhere, nowhere, that's where. All right, leave my sandals here. Oh, once the sandals come off, it feels like total freedom. Oh, that feels so good. All right, we got our bucket. Put it up here. Got our extra GoPro battery. I'll put the rod there. And now we're gonna have to sneak around and make sure law enforcement doesn't find us. Oh, look, there's Elliot. This little f***er is a rogue U.S. military asset and a danger to public safety. Ready to scramble at the first satellite picture of him. And hopefully I bring back some fish for you. Today is the day, boys. I feel it. Today is the day. I feel like if law enforcement catches me this time, they're definitely going to write me a ticket. You know, I don't have a problem with law enforcement. I, I think it's quite necessary with all the boaters out here that don't know what they're doing. It's always good to have them around. I just think some rules are a little stupid, like needing to wear a life jacket on a paddleboard. I guess you don't have to wear the life jacket when you're paddleboarding. You just have to have it available on your paddleboard, which I think is, you know, that's a smart rule. You should have a life jacket on your paddleboard, but you know, I'm just cruising around in the backyard. I ain't doing anything crazy. You know, if I was crossing like the Atlantic Ocean, yeah, I'd probably bring a life jacket. Ooh, that was a good cast. I hope you guys know that I'm just joking, right? For clickbait, YouTube title clickbait. You know, I wanted to title this video running from law enforcement in the mangroves. Ooh, that would be a good title for a video. Anytime I put FWC or like any kind of law enforcement on the uh, thumbnail of one of my videos, oh, it always gets way more views. So can you really hate me? I hope not. I hope you forgive me. I can see the comments already. Oh man, the comments. You guys are ruthless in the comments. But I'm pretty battle hardened, I'd say. Now if I could just catch a fish. Oh, oh, something just grabbed my shrimp. Something grabbed my shrimp. Oh, that was a little barracuda. He grabbed the shrimp and he swam with it and he spit it out. You know, I do know that the law does not come out back here in these mangrove trails. So I'm gonna stay back here. Oh, I'm on, fish on, no! He let go. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, came back. Oh, he grabbed it again. He grabbed it. It's a very small fish. Is that a barracuda? Ah, uh, as I was saying, I know that law enforcement, ooh, good cast, doesn't come back here in the mangroves. So I'm just gonna stay in the mangroves. That way I won't get caught. So technically, if I title the video, Hiding in the Mangroves from Law Enforcement, technically I'm not lying. What do you guys think? Is that total clickbait? If you watch my channel, you know that I don't really clickbait ever. So cut me some slack, bro, please. Oh, I got bit. <laughs> it was a little barracuda. That's not what we're looking for. So peaceful out here. Oh, there's a big snook. Big snook, big snook. Oh, perfect cast. There's a big snook back there. Might mean there's more. Oh, no. Oh, Barracuda grabbed it, bit it right off the hook. He clean cut through that line. Wow, damn. All right, I guess I gotta retie. Brand new shrimp tied up, just like the old one, ready to go. Okay, this is our last hook. I only brought two hooks, so hopefully this doesn't turn into a three-day fishing video kind of deal, because I ain't giving up till we got a catch and cook. I never give up. Oh my God, that was the most perfect cast ever. And that's probably one of my top five casts ever right there. 
long shot perfectly went under the mangroves oh wow if there would have been something sitting there i bet it would have ate it oh ah. thought i had a fish there oh my something bit it right right at the boat looks like a barracuda again i'm so confused normally fish can't resist the gulp shrimp but it seems like they could care less right now i mean they're not even nibbling it the only things nibbling at are barracudas just had another nice hit right at the boat but it kind of felt like a barracuda again oh no oh that lure just came flying back at me this wind is kind of pushing me around pretty good damn it also doesn't help to be catching the mangroves all the time I fought the law and the law won. I fought the law and the law won. <clears throat> Where were we again? Can't make this shit up. Got it in another tree. Oh! Got it out. That whizzed right past my head. Whew. Almost lost an eyeball. Extreme fishing. Oh! I'm on. Oh no! What was that? Was that a mangrove snapper? You know, I don't think that was a barracuda. You know, maybe like sunset isn't the best time to fish. Maybe like 1 p.m., like right in the middle of the day. Maybe I'll try that tomorrow. I don't know if I don't catch one today because something's off. Usually I would have caught a few fish by now. Honestly, I'm probably not catching fish because I didn't bring a life jacket and this is my punishment. Can't blame anyone but myself. Oh, another tree. No. Oh, I just got a bite. I got a bite. I got a bite. Oh, I'm frustrated. Oh, that should have been a fish. Oh, that was a good cast. Come on, something eat it. Anything. Oh. How about we try fishing some docks? You know, sometimes when the mangroves aren't doing too hot, you gotta try the, the docks. I've kind of lost my faith in the gulp shrimp, but I'm gonna give it one more try tomorrow, and I'm gonna try it in the morning, and then I'm gonna try it in the middle of the day, like 1 p.m. And if I can't catch a fish on this gulp shrimp, then, uh, then I'm no longer using gulp shrimp, for mangrove fishing. Although I've, I've caught fish on it in the past. So I don't know what's going on here. Hey buddy, how you doing? I'm sorry, I don't have any fish for you. We're gonna be eating grub tonight. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. Father has failed you. I won't hold it against you if you look for a new home. Elliot might climb this tree, hold on. He's just rolling around on the rocks. Come on, buddy. Show off for YouTube. Show YouTube what you can do. Come on, come on, Elliot. You always run up the tree. Are you camera shy? You love climbing the tree. Go. I get it. He's not gonna do it because I've disappointed him. I don't know how I'm gonna sleep tonight with all this disappointment. I'm sure a thousand of you have already hit the unsubscribe button. And I ain't even mad about it. I understand. I did this to myself. All right, boys. Day three of attempting to catch a fish with these gulp shrimp, which I am seriously have a little questionable, you know, if I would recommend these for this type of fishing. For like trout fishing, these work great. But you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna bring a plan B backup plan. If you look right there, there's a little fiddler crab walking around and I'm gonna grab his ass. So we gotta be very slowly approach this guy. He's got no idea that I'm coming up on him. Oh, he saw me. Oh God, he's looking at me. Slowly now, slowly. They got a big claw, I don't wanna get bit. Okay, I got this. I got this. Ah! I got him, I got him, I got him. Oh my God, he's trying to bite me. He's got such a big claw. 
Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that freaking claw on him. So what we're gonna do is, I think he's gonna make the perfect, whoops. Okay, he broke his claw, which I think is good. We don't need that. We got a big old claw. So we got a fiddler crab in the bucket, and if the gulp shrimp don't work, I'm gonna try tossing a fiddler crab out there in front of these mangrove snapper. Pretty smart, huh? <laughs> uh, pretty desperate. Are there any more fiddler crabs around here? I'd like to have it more than just one. Like two would be nice. You know what? I'm gonna take my sandals off. I'm gonna walk into this. Oh, there is a fiddler crab right there. Oh, there's another one. Wait a second, I'm screwing up. I'm scaring them away. You know what I'm gonna do? Just gonna run around until I find some. They're usually walking around my backyard, so it's just a matter of time before I find a couple. Come here, fiddler crab, where my fiddler crab? Ooh, I wonder if a bee would be good bait. I should try that sometime. Where's my fiddler crabs? We got one fiddler crab as a backup plan. I think that is plenty, you know. That is just handy dandy, we'll be fine. We only need one. Let's get to fishing, shall we, boys? Just gonna start out with a simple cast right under my neighbor's dock. Oh, I think something just grabbed it. Oh, here we go. Okay, something's attacking it. Okay, whatever was attacking it was not that big. I just realized I forgot my life jacket again. Darn. There's a lot of wind. It doesn't seem like it because I have a nice mic on here. But I'm like holding onto this branch just to keep myself from blowing away. Oh, I got another bush. <laughs> I think this is turning more into a, uh, just a video about laughing at me. Not so much a fishing video. I don't even think I can put the, the word fishing in the title of this video or else that might be a little too clickbaity at this point. Anyone wanna buy my YouTube channel? I think I'm done fishing. I think I, you know, I'm just about to quit here. Maybe I'll just rename it to like South Florida Paddleboard Adventures. Oh, magnificent cast. At least my casts are good, except for the ones that end up in trees. Oh God, I got cut on a root. Oh, those are bad. It's hard to get down there to those roots. <laughs> Whatever we do, can we not have a mangrove catch counter on this video? Editor, please, that'd be terrible. I see it. Oh no. What did I just lose? Got it, got my lure back. Oh no. I just dumped my reel in the water. No, in the salt water. <sighs> okay, you know what? That's it. I'm done with this grub. I'm gonna use plan B, my fiddler crab. There we go. All right, fiddler crab, let's do this. Just gonna hook them just like that. <sighs> I'm a little exhausted, a little stressed. No, not a tree again. Oh, <sighs> come here. Okay, buddy. What are you doing in the tree? Okay, I've already dunked my reel in the salt water like three times. Ow! Oh, got the hook in my hand. Oh, shh. This will be a good test to see how the PC Fun Cabin 2000 reel holds up now that I dunked it in salt water. I heard a fish. Oh, I'm on, I'm on. Oh my God, I'm on. Oh, oh my God, a fish, a freaking fish. Oh, I should have got more mangrove. Oh, fiddler crabs. Wow. That is a very beautiful mangrove snapper. It actually, actually, no, I don't think that's a mangrove. I think that's a, a dog tooth snapper. Oh. oh, he went right into my bucket. Wow, that is a beautiful, or is that a schoolmaster? Uh, I have to look that up. It kind of looks like a mangrove, but it doesn't because he's a lot wider. And he's got that blue teal stripe on his face and he's got kind of yellow fins down there. Very beautiful fish. I'm gonna let him go. Oh, he splashed me. Oh no, I caught another mangrove. Oh, shh. No, no. Whew. 
I do not like using artificial bait in my backyard mangroves. It just doesn't work out for me. I see a fiddler crab. Hold on a second, boys. Here, buddy. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm friendly. I'm friendly. Don't make me tell you again that I'm friendly. Come here. Come here, bud. No, 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 no. I can play this game if you want, pal. God, they're so strong. Oh, nope. Come here, buddy. Gotcha. Oh, he's a meaty, juicy one. I couldn't get a bite all day. And then the fiddler crab, like, right away. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's toss him off the dock and see what happens. One fiddler crab going down. Plop. If something eats him right away, oh my God. Okay, I just got a big hit. Like, whatever fish just grabbed him was a solid fish. Oh, I'm on. Hey, oh, now that is a mangrove snapper and that is a very pretty one. Woo! All right, pal. Calm down, calm down. I'll get you out of here as fast as I can. <gasps> oh my God. That's a huge manatee. That might be the biggest manatee I've ever seen. Oh my God. Look, it's got a little baby with him. Hey, buddy. Look at the little baby manatee. Oh my God. Here. Okay, he didn't want the fish. Oh my God, that was a huge manatee. That was super cool. Like hands down, that might, might have been the biggest manatee I've ever seen. I think I'm allowed to still call myself the South Florida Fishing Channel because while I didn't catch anything on the gulp shrimp, I persevered and I found out that live fiddler crabs get eaten right away. So, you know, I feel pretty good about that. I'm gonna catch myself some fiddler crabs. Got one. Check it out. Kablam. Okay, let's just catch a couple of them and then uh, I really want to get some dinner. You know me, if it ain't a catch and cook, it ain't a South Florida Fishing Channel video. I've used Mirodine lures, I've used top waters, I've used like flare hawk jigs. Whoa, oh my God, my bees. They just, a couple of them just attacked me. Ooh, I've used you know, fake shrimp. Man, I've used so many different lures back out here in the mangroves and just I never catch anything on them. In three years, I've caught maybe three fish on artificial, but on like live shrimp, fiddler crabs, or even like cut bait, cut sardines, cut shrimp. I always catch fish. So what did we learn here? If you're gonna fish the Florida Keys mangroves, and you really want to use artificial baits, you should consider bringing like a pack of shrimp or something with you just in case they're not eating because they are stubborn. Okay, these fiddler crabs are a little stubborn too. Oh, there's one, there's one. All right, I got two fiddler crabs in there. And I, when I was paddle boarding, I did see some pretty nice mangrove snappers, but I just don't feel like paddling all the way out there and I have a live stream in an hour. So I'm just gonna fish right here right off the dock. There we go. One live fiddler crab. Let's see what we get for dinner. Hopefully we get something with some size to it. No, they ripped it right off the hook. Okay, down to my last fiddler crab. I was really hoping I could get this video done today because I've never spent this much time f for one video. Very inefficient. <laughs> no! They took my fiddler crab again. Oh, I don't really have time to catch more fiddler crabs because I got to do this live stream. Um, you know what? I'm going to get some, some more bait and we'll take the paddle board out again. Actually, I'm going to try something crazy. What if we take the gulp shrimp just take one out of here and what if we cut it into little pieces you think the sh the fish will eat that okay so I'm just gonna take my sh my J hook there there's a chunk 
of white gulp shrimp. I'll dip it in the sauce, get it real juiced up. <laughs> Let's throw it back there and see if a uh, snapper eats it. If this works, I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be questioning uh, my life a little bit, but I think that was a hit. Hold on a second. Let's dunk it in the juice again. Oh my god! A grunt. A grunt on the chunk of gulp shrimp. You got to be kidding me. The thing is, there's no size limit on grunts, so I could technically call it a day and just eat this guy. Why am I considering that? Look at all those beautiful colors on him. Oh, Jesus. All right, you know what? Oh, oh no, no. I could have been done. I could have been done. I could have been cooking that fish. Okay, <laughs> I'm running out of time here. I really got like, I, sh I should have been done 20 minutes ago, but let me just try one more time. Let's see if we can pull up something a little bit bigger. Boom! Ah, it's a mangrove snapper. They gotta be a, they gotta be at least 10 inches. I wouldn't keep one under 12 inches anyways. Oh, the, he's a beautiful one. Look at that though. Now that I'm just have a little chunk of it, they're actually attacking it. So that is very interesting. Uh, we're learning a lot today here. I hope you guys are learning something. This is a little different than my normal fishing videos, but I'm right here learning right along with you guys. So it's kind of cool. And I'm actually having fun now that we're actually catching fish. Oh. I'm on, I'm on. Hey, this fish actually feels kind of good. Oh, it's a barracuda. Damn it. I mean, technically he's legal. There's no uh, size. Oh, he almost got my finger. I mean, my toe. Whoa, buddy. Man, he's a jumper. Look at those teeth. Yeah, if, if he bites you, he'll, it'll actually, whoa. All right, he got away. I don't trust him. He's gonna bite my hand when I wash it. All right, we are so close to this being a catch and cook. I just gotta dunk my shrimp in the juice a little more. Give it another little cast out there. My God, I keep getting text messages. Jeez, this is why I turn my phone on silent and then everyone gets mad at me because I never answer my phone. All day long, text message, text message, text message. Just want to throw my phone in the water. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> my hook came flying right back at me. I'm so, so behind on time right now. I don't think these fish trust me anymore. I think they're onto my fake bait. Looks like this is going to turn into a four day fishing adventure. We will end this with a catch and cook. It's day four and today I'm pulling out the big guns. We're gonna take some of our J hooks. I think two should be fine. No, I'll bring three and we'll toss them in there. So we got our bucket. Same fishing pole we've been using. All right, and you see that little white bugger right there? Yeah, this is gonna be the secret sauce. We got ourselves a bucket of frozen shrimp. I got them thawing out in some water. That's it. That's it, we're just gonna use some dead shrimp because it seems like these mangrove snappers, I don't know, they're too smart for artificials or at least whatever I got. You might notice I got some extra stuff on here. I have a pole anchor, like a, uh, you know, it's like a pole you stick in the ground. And I have some sword fishing mono line here. It's like 300 pound test. I'm gonna tie it to the back and then I can put the uh, push pole anchor on it. How nice will that be? And then the wind won't, be pushing me around everywhere if I'm anchored. Also, I got myself a drink. Cherry Truly. It's uh, absolutely disgusting to drink this. I found it in the back of my fridge and it's the only drink I have, so I figured might as well. I got that mono line on here. I crimped it nice and tight and I got the, uh, the line going to the anchor, this bad boy on there. So yeah, we got shrimp and an anchor and a drink. Those might be the key ingredients to catching fish. Guess we're gonna find out. 
Wait, I need a paddle. Can't go very far without a paddle. I'm gonna try not to uh, fall in the water. That is definitely a promise that I can't make. You know what, I'm gonna put the shrimp in the bucket. I like this spot right here. I feel very good about this spot. Just need to drop the anchor now without falling in the water. Oh, it's pretty deep here. And the bottom is very rocky. So it takes a few tries to kind of find a spot that the anchor is gonna really grip down into. See that's, oh, yeah, that was good. See, it was a very rocky bottom, but then there was a hole and the anchor just went straight into it. I feel pretty good about this spot. So what I'm gonna do with all these shrimp, I'm gonna cut their heads off, throw the head in the water. Might as well, you know, get the, get the scent in the water. Now we're gonna take our hook. We're gonna take the shrimp and just put it right on there. We're gonna experiment a little bit. I might take the tails off some of them. I might take the shell off some of them. So it's just the meaty part, but we'll start like this. And then uh, we'll kind of try and figure out what the fish want. Let's see how long it takes to get a bite with the shrimp. Oh, oh, that was a snapper. I saw him eat it. He wasn't very big. Okay, there we got a bunch of snappers now. Little snapper just ate it. Oh, he let go of it. I want a big snapper, come on, big, big snapper. But they're definitely chewing, it's a good sign. Oh, they ate it, ate it, ate it, ate it. They're small, they're all like little six inch snappers eating it. That was a bit bigger of a snapper. Oh, they done stole my bait. So if I use a really small piece of snapper, I can probably catch those. So I'm gonna do that just for fun. All right, just a small chunk of snapper. I bet you we're gonna hook up fairly quick here with that. Yep, we're on. Oh, that was so easy. All right, we got a nice mangrove snapper. Too small to keep, but we're learning here. It's a good hook set right in the corner of the mouth. All right, can you please tell your big bully down there that there's a buffet on aisle 12, all you can eat shrimp. Let the biggest, meanest snapper know about the South Florida Fishing Channel buffet. Oh, did you see that? He did a like and subscribe double triple backflip. And we still have the piece of shrimp on the hook. Let's see if we can catch two fish on one piece of shrimp. I feel like I'm gonna fall in the water. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna stand because I feel like I have a better view on everything. Got a fish messing with it. Yeah. Oh, we're on. That fish felt good and it broke. Did we lose the hook? Oh man, it cut the hook off. I bet that was a barracuda. Oh, I think something grabbed it. Here we go. Oh, oh no, it broke my hook off again. Oh, that's gotta be a barracuda down there. I didn't bring any stinger tips. All right, we have once again, a new hook and a piece of shrimp. By the way, I never watched my PC fun Captain 2000 reel after taking a dump in the salt water yesterday and it still works perfect. Pretty stoked about that. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's a barracuda over there, but I'm gonna try one last time. Oh no. Okay. That was almost a tree shot. I mean, I hit the tree, but it kind of bounced back out. Maybe we can make that count for only like 0.5. Oh, something grabbed it. Something grabbed it. Oh. Okay, what happened there? Okay, I still got the hook. Phew. Shrimp number a thousand. Dream number one. Oh, no, 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 it went in the bush. That's not good. Uh-oh, a fish grabbed it. Okay, that was another bush shot. Let's see if I can get it out. Woo. Yep. Something's nibbling it. Oh. I'm on, I'm on, feels like a good fish. Oh, 
Oh, oh, baby. He's definitely the biggest fish so far, but uh, I think he's legal size. Whoa, 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 stay on the boat, buddy. Stay on the boat. You might be my dinner. Okay, it is a, that's a dog snapper. Or is it a schoolmaster? Hold on a second. They only gotta be 10 inches. And a dog snapper's only gotta be 12 inches. Oh, okay, yeah, no. All right, buddy, you gotta go back in the water. Oh, what a beautiful specimen. Huh, he didn't give us the uh, like and subscribe double triple backflip, a little disappointed. Oh, another perfect cast. I'm fighting on very light tackle, which makes all of this very fun. Oh, that's a good fish. Woo. Oh, perfect, he came off. Uh, he was just a small snapper. You see how much more we're catching though with shrimp? It's like every cast right away I catch a fish, so. If you wanna take like a, like a little kid fishing, you just wanna make sure they're catching fish. J hook, little piece of shrimp, pretty hard to go wrong. Ugh, I'm gonna take a seat. Oh, it feels good just to sit down. Yeah, that's nice. Enjoy my drink. There is like a shrimp tentacle or leg in there. And it tasted very shrimpy. I do have one more and it's blueberry flavored, which is probably tastes even worse. I heard a fish splashing over here. Yeah, baby. Oh, no, I blew, no. Dropped my drink, screwed up my hookup. Didn't get the fish. Oh, wait, I did, I did get some seaweed though. How about that? I uh, pulled it right out of his mouth. Sneaky, sneaky little guy. Okay, I'm gonna try a whole shrimp. Hooked in the tail so I can kind of flick them around. Maybe, maybe that'll get them to bite the bigger ones. No, another tree shot. Okay, came out. Whew, we racking up them tree shots. Oh. Oh no. Caught the anchor line. All right, we're pulling up the anchor and we are going to just paddle around while there's still some daylight left. I know that everybody watching right now wants me to fall in. And if I was smart, I would just fake fall in so I could get a million views, finally pay off my truck. But I refuse to fake fall in. I refuse to fall in, period. Kind of, this is like a sight fishing. So I don't, I'm not gonna throw my shrimp unless I see a snapper. Okay. Oh, there's a snapper right there. He's swimming. Oh. Oh. Wait. A oh, stupid barracuda cut my hook off. That's a little frustrating. Okay, I am down to my last hook, I believe. This is my very last hook. Caught in the tree again. Classic. Everything on a paddleboard is a little bit harder than normal because you constantly feel like you're going to fall in. I'm going to throw some shrimp pieces as like chum. Oh, that was a fish. I had a fish. I still got the hook. Yes. We're still in the game, baby. We are still in the game. Oh, there's a snook. There's a snook right there. We're not really looking for snook though. Damn it. Oh, I got the hook back. Phew. This time I got the jumbo shrimp. Biggest shrimp I could find. We're gonna send them out whole. Come on, baby. Please, please just let this work. Oh, I'm on, I'm on. The big shrimp came through. Big shrimp, nice grunt. Big shrimp, nice grunt. Yes, that is a keeper, keeper grunt. Oh no. There goes my drink. Ah, whatever, it sucked anyways. Ooh, yeah, that's a good grunt. He wanted the big shrimp. I'm gonna grunt and grits, baby. Grunt and grits. I haven't had that in a while. So stoked. All right. Okay, I'm gonna paddle board on home. And uh, tomorrow morning, we're gonna make some grunt and grits for breakfast. 
It's been a while since I've done it and I love it. Look at this guys. Wait, it's a shoe sole. Okay, maybe I won't get a million views for falling in off my paddleboard, but maybe I'll get a million views for picking up trash. How about that? You think we can do that? You think you can share this video for that? I'm reaching. I'm getting desperate as you can see, but you know, I'm not desperate anymore. It's been a fun couple days with you guys, or actually fun several days with you guys trying to catch a fish on first on artificial then on cut artificial and then on fiddler crabs and then on shrimp and it seems like when you use live bait every fish will nibble i'm still trying to get good at fishing the mangroves oh there's another snook we got to come out here and do some snook fishing you know one thing i noticed about the snook around here is they only come out like sunset and at nighttime. if you come out here at night with a paddleboard and a flashlight you'll just see a ton of snook just sitting sitting on the bottom yeah we're gonna keep learning keep getting better soon we're gonna be putting them 20 inch mangroves on the paddleboard we're gonna find the pigs 100 percent i just saw another grunt swim by let's see if we can make make this out it's a sharp shrimp he just stabbed me this actually is the biggest shrimp in the in the box oh that is a fat shrimp oh yeah oh my god that was perfect oh i'm on oh ah he got me in the mangroves that was a nice fish oh he's still on there he's still on he's still on okay oh Oh gosh. Oh no, now I'm in the trees again. Oh. Well, that's all folks. This is like one of those cartoons where the kid comes home and it's like, what'd you catch? And they're like, I just caught a shoe. <laughs> You're like, wow, you caught a shoe. Well, here I am. I actually caught a shoe. You know what I do want to try though? Before we end the day, let me see if I can get a uh, another grunt off of the dock. I could probably eat two of these grunts. All right, let's chum the waters. Ooh, that'll get them riled up. We're gonna put our fishing pole out. Oh no. The guy accidentally retied through the, uh, not on the top swivel. I forgot to put it through the top swivel, but we don't got time to retie right now. We're gonna, we're gonna run this as it is. Hopefully there's no barracudas that steal this hook. Oh, something's got it. Ah. Okay, he didn't get hooked, he spit it. Let's try that again. That was a decent fish. Kind of want to let them eat it a little bit longer sometimes the grunts they'll like just grab a little part of it and then they'll swim around for a minute before they actually swallow it okay we got a fish on it's a uh, schoolmaster no we want a grunt nice oh it came off <laughs> You know, they just can't resist the shrimp. Oh my God, oh my God. What's that? That is a juice ball of a grunt. I mean, that's, that's a big grunt. Oh my, he's fat, he's fat, he's fat. We got grunt number two. Look at that grunty mouth. All right, now we, oh, perfect hook. Right in the upper lip, look at that. All right, we got dinner, or uh, breakfast. The rest of the shrimp. They're gonna be freebies to fatten up my pets. Oh, oh. he almost went overboard. I would have been so mad. Okay, no more water. He can wiggle out of my hands all he wants now. Flip the fish, put your knife in kind of like behind their head. Run your knife along the, uh, along the spine. Flip it over, skin it, there you go. And you can trim off this little piece, but that's it. And it's actually a pretty good, pretty good fillet. You don't really lose, I mean, it's pretty much perfect.
Let me show you one more time. If you catch like a lot of yellowtail, you have a box of 30 yellowtails. This is usually how I fillet them because it's just the quickest, easiest way. And I would say it's pretty efficient. As long as you keep your knife very close to their skin and then flip it, boom. Oh, look at that. All right, perfect. Hey bud, what do you think? I wonder if I could get any meat off of here for you. Here's a tiny, tiny piece. Take it. Yeah, that's a happy kitty. Got some water, olive oil, and some seasonings. We're gonna start boiling in there to make the couscous. We're gonna start heating up the butter. And we're gonna take our little fillets here, and I'll just make sure there's no bones. You know, these bones in here are actually so small that I could probably just eat them. I wouldn't serve them to someone, but I would eat them. I ain't worried about it. Now we're gonna hit it with that South Florida Fishing Channel sweet heat and a little bit of the garlic and onion. Just give it a little pa pow, pa pow, pa pow, pa pow. Bam, 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 bam. Got the butter nice and hot. Mmm. And we'll just slap them in there. Ka slap, ka blam, ka pow. A little more garlic on the back. Try not to over season them, but boom, boom. Those are gonna cook real quick. This is boiling, that's good. All right, we'll pour in the couscous. What's it say? Uh, pour it in, pour into boiling water, remove from heat. Oh shit, remove from heat. Ah, and stir it. So give it a little stir. We will remove that. Doing this a little unorthodoxly. These fish look like they're ready to get flipped. That was quick. I mean, that was a minute maybe? But these are small pieces of fish and we do not want to overcook them. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's stand for five minutes. I'll let that cook for another minute and we'll get that off the heat. These aren't the biggest fillets, but they always say the babies taste the best, you know, so. There's no size limit on grunts, for the record. Fillets are definitely done. Take that off the heat. Wanna let this one rest. Fluff it up. I love this stuff. I could actually eat a lot of this. And I don't know if you noticed, but is that a dish? That's right, I got a whole dish set. Big thank you to my subscriber, Sonya. She sent me a whole, a whole dish set. It's been like, what, a year and a half now since I've had dishes? So, you know, I might miss the bachelor lifestyle a little bit, eating off paper plates every day, but it was time. So thank you, Sonya. So we'll put, a, put our couscous on the plate. I mean, wow, it just looks more presentable already. I'm already liking this. And then we will take our fish and we will lay it right on top. Oh man, oh man. Mm, it's got like a nice golden brown crisp on the bottom side of it. Hold on, let's try a little piece of the fish. Grunt is a delicious fish. Very underrated. Every time someone catches a big grunt, they just are like, oh, grunt, and they throw it back. But I don't know why it's such a delicious fish. If you catch a big one, you might as well keep it. These, I will admit, these grunts were not that big, but they're still delicious. And it's just cool being able to catch them right in the backyard. We'll put a little Hawaiian drizzle on top. This barbecue sauce, it sounds weird putting barbecue sauce on couscous and fish, but it, it's good, it's good. Just a light drizzle. Oh, yeah, that's good. We are not in the living room, but we are down in the podcast studio, which I've been putting together a little bit. And I figured I might as well eat down here because I left my tripod down here and I already got the lights. This grunt looks delicious. It smells good. It's like savory and sweet. Let's give it a try. I want everything in the first bite. I want some of that pineapple barbecue, the couscous, the fish. Wow. 
The grunt just tastes like perfect. It's not a very flaky fish, but it's got like a nice texture to it. It has almost, I would say absolutely zero fish flavor to it. Whatever you season it with is what it's gonna taste like. Just melts in your mouth. Grunts, baby. And to think, you know, you just jump on a paddle board, paddle on out there, throw some shrimp around or some fiddler crabs or probably any kind of live bait or cut bait. Them grunts just eat it all up. The snappers will eat it too. Sometimes I find the bigger snappers to be a little smarter. So you gotta get them into a feeding frenzy. Mm. Mm. I would say this is a very much deserved meal after four days of fishing. I hope you guys haven't unsubscribed yet because it took me so long to catch fish, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys maybe learned something. I know I learned a few things. I think my next mangrove fishing trip is gonna be a little bit better. But at the end of the day, as long as you're getting out there, putting some food on the table, trying some new things, it's a good day. So thank you guys for watching this video all the way to the end. I hope you like, subscribe, left a comment, and I'll see you guys on the very next video. Cheers.